So now I'm going to show you guys uh, how to install the Vesta control panel on a VPS. Um, and there's a few things you need to note here. One, I'm going to have uh, two videos, two videos for two versions, okay? In this video, in this video, here's the thing. It's for people who will be providing um, their own DNS services, okay? You know how when you go to DigitalOcean, you will have your name servers for DigitalOcean, right? And you'll NS1, NS2, and to set up your domains, right? Now, in this video, uh, this is for the installation where you're going to, for example, you're going to be using Bind, okay? And we're going to let Vesta, we're going to configure our own name servers inside of Vesta and at our host, okay? And in another video, I'm going to show how to do it where you just, where, for example, you, the, your hosting provider or the, the company you buy your VPS from will provide these services for you. Okay, so again, you need to know which one we're doing here, which one you're going to be using. Okay, so this one is where we are going to create, it, create our own host names, etc. If, uh, if you're really not sure, just watch both videos. Now, I'm going to be installing this on Ubuntu 14.04, 64-bit. Um, All right. Now, rem this is very important, you guys. You need a clean install. All right. Okay, so there's no Apache. All right. Apache is not installed. MySQL is not installed. PHP. We're going to let their script configure PHP. We're going to let their script install and configure the mail server. It makes it very convenient, OK? So you want a minimal install, OK? I recommend starting fresh, starting with a new installation, a minimal install. It's very important, OK, you guys? Now, so what do we do? First, OK, we're logged in up here. Oh, let's make sure that this hasn't. Um, I hope this didn't time out. Uh, it may have timed out. I'm not sure. Well, maybe it did. I'm going to open another shell here, guys. Um, all right. All right, there we go. So the first thing we do, we come over to the install. Don't worry about pricing. This is basically free. I mean, it's totally free. With the pricing for just $3, okay, again, for just $3, you can get this particular uh, file upload system and file management system, which is very convenient, very nice. but. First, let's just get it installed because it's a great control panel. It's a wonderful control panel. It installs very quickly, okay? It installs really well. All right, step one, we've logged in. Okay, step two, here we go. All right, if you need to pause the video and get this, that's great. Um, oh, um, we may need to do this. All right, so needed to install curl. Whoopsie daisy. Um, wait.
sorry about this you guys um So I needed to install curl. There's sometimes that happens, right? If we do a minimal install, there's, I think what happens there is we have some situation where um, not everything we need is just in, initially installed. That's okay. Um, that's all right. Okay, so there's step one. Okay. Now we can run bash, Vesta install script. This is one thing I like about them. Um, they've created a really good installer script. Now this is gonna take a while, okay? And there's a point here, all right, yes, we would like to continue. All right. On here yeah I'm just gonna use this okay it says the installation will take 15 minutes usually it doesn't take 15 minutes um, now we're installing just tons of stuff here okay and one thing, like I was saying, one thing I really liked about this control panel is it works quickly and easily, okay? As we say, uh, it works very quickly out of, out of the box, right? Okay, it works very quickly out of the box. And the developers have put a lot of effort into the development of this install script which makes uh, it a lot easier for us. There are other control panels they use, they force you to take about, you know, some of them, it's even 15 or 20 steps. I think, what, what is it, uh, um, ISP, ISP Manager? Um, I forget which one, that one, it took like 20 steps. I've installed and used uh, probably about five different control panels. Okay, it's probably six or seven if you include cPanel. Okay, and this one is the best. Okay, I have found that Vesta um, is the best. Okay, now maybe it doesn't look so nice. It looks pretty nice, it looks okay. Um, but I have found from, if you consider all the factors, that this is the best one if you want to save money, okay? You can install it on as many IP addresses as you want. You can install it on as many VPS accounts, right? All over the place, okay? Um, and it's also very quick, all right? It's very quick. I've noticed that there are other control panels that are very popular, but they are so slow. Okay, that's just one problem. And the configurations. Really, I have found that there are fewer configuration problems with Vesta. It's not perfect, but there are fewer, okay, and noticeably fewer configuration problems that you need to take care of uh, as compared to the other control panels um yeah so I, it's, it's taking a while here um let's just do this um let's take a quick look inside some of these different um well let's do this While we wait, we can go ahead and 
I'm gonna, we're gonna go inside here. So here we are inside the panel. I, you know, I haven't finished here, right? We haven't finished here, but I just, we're gonna to come in and take a look here. Um, so, okay. All right, so here we can add domains. We can add a domain, okay, and Another thing that's very nice is uh, we can um, we can use Let's Encrypt to install SSL certificates. Another reason why I like Vesta, I have found that the installation of SSL certificates is much quicker, easier, and faster through using the control panel interface than with others, okay? And that includes Centora, okay? Centora is, has, you may be aware of the Centora control panel, okay? Well, Vesta is better than Centora for this, okay? Uh, Vesta's better than Centora for these SSL, um, certificates okay and not only that um, you very they quickly you also be able to access your site over HTTP right with Vesta there's a problem in that you have to go in and deal with these URL overwrites etc okay now very important thing okay Install the package maintainers version. Keep your. This is very important. If you are providing your own, um, uh, your own DNS, very important. You need to choose yes. Okay. So we are creating our own DNS. Okay. All right. We're we're providing our own DNS services. There's two versions of this install. So we're going to choose yes. Okay. All right. That's what we're gonna choose. It says, install the package maintainers version, and that is Vesta's version, right? It's their version of it. Um, okay. Okay, so now I am going to change this password, so I don't care if you see it. Now we can access our control panel here. Um, all right, so let's open a new browser. Now this is different. See, this has 181. Okay, this has 181. Okay, this is 206. Okay. Um, okay, that's okay. That won't matter. 
Okay. Okay, I don't care about the password because when you watch this video, it will have changed already, right? So I don't care about that. Okay, bam, we're inside, all right? So in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to, we're going to set up some domains, set up, uh, create host names, and we're going to essentially, we're going to create our own name servers because, okay, for this version. Again, there's going to be two versions.